Hello everyone and welcome again to another edition of Beam Back Backup and Replication version 12 tips and tricks. Today I wanted to show you how you can create a hardened repository. So we are gonna go to uh, our backup repositories and uh, here I have uh, in managed servers I have a Linux server that I added and the server is being hosted on my Hyper-V and here it is Beam Data so basically on this server if we go here inside just gonna go to home Beam And you can see I have created here a folder called the data store. If we check the privi pri privileges of this data store, it's set to, set to root. It cannot be set to root because we won't be able <coughs> to add the repository with those privileges. I'm gonna demonstrate because basically uh, that's uh, in the folder on my uh, virtual machine that I'm gonna be using for uh, storing uh, data uh, via my Veeam backup so if we go here to our backup repositories and now I'm gonna add a backup repository and then direct attached because we are be uh, we are gonna be using the hard drive so from the server from the Linux server and we're gonna pick Linux hardened repository and just call it Veeam something like this now we're gonna populate okay so as you can see basically what I did the easiest way to create a, um, a Linux server that is going to be hosting uh, your um, backup uh, repository is to install a fresh server with a XFS file system on it. So basically while, while you're installing the server you're installing it with XFS. So as you can see I didn't install uh, the whole server and uh, I, uh, then I added like an additional disk here uh, basically the whole virtual machine has been created with XFS file system so mm, I'm using the uh, default uh, SDA1 so I have like almost 18 gigs of free disk space to use because this server was meant to be only for uh, backup uh, of my Veeam so uh, of course you can uh, do it differently you can like uh, create a normal Linux server then you can add an additional disk and you can then partition this disk and uh, of course create it with the uh, XFS file system and then mount it but I just did it this way uh, of course uh, this uh, is uh, Debian so uh, it's not Ubuntu it's the newest Debian distribution which is Bookworm 12 at least uh, now at 2024 when I'm making this video it's the newest edition of Debian okay so we're gonna go here and uh, of course we're gonna populate so we're gonna so we're gonna see how much free space we have of course we're using fast cloning on XFS volumes because that's uh, XFS here and now let's browse so we are uh, using of course uh, the Veeam account because that's basically the mm, as you can see I'm in the home Veeam so the user Veeam I'm using this account uh, Vim to connect uh, connect through uh, uh, through the uh, 
to the server uh, through uh, Vim backup and replication. So just bear in mind if you are connecting to your uh, Linux server that is going to be hosting your repositories, mm, then use a normal account. Like I just created uh, an account that I call Vim and I gave it a sudo. I added it to sudo group and of course now I'm authenticating only with this account. That's why if I open the whole file system here I cannot go to root as you can see. Permissions are denied but I can open like home and I can open my vim because this is the vim user and I can uh, open the data store right because this is where I'm going to be hosting all of my backups. For example of course home vim data store and look what's gonna happen in a moment so the setup okay we're gonna apply and now we're gonna have a error because I didn't change the permissions on the data store and I should receive an error because there we go check write permissions on the repository folder Okay, so basically, you just need to remember that you need to set the folder, folders or owner uh, for the name of the account that you created. So for me, it's Vim, which is the basic account with sudo privileges. So I need to chmod, sorry, chjoin. And now, as you can see, the Vim user has uh, is the owner of this folder. So if we commence right now, we were we were able to connect to the repository without any problems, and the backup rep repository has been successfully saved so here you have your uh, hardened repository which is hosted on uh, my uh, vim data here's the path to the repository and here's the capacity so the full uh, full disk and the free uh, gigs uh, that you are actually going to be using for uh, storing all of your backups Okay, so this uh, I will I will conclude my video here. So this is how you can uh, add a hardened hardened uh, repository into Vim. If you're interested, how you can do uh, a special backups, immutable backups. Uh, check up check out my other videos on the channel, and you will you will probably learn this as well. Okay, so uh, as always, uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next.